Hey boys and girls, this is Mr. Bell. Today we're going to be learning how to find the area of a rhombus. All right. Now the formula to find area of a rhombus is area equals one half times the diagonal one times diagonal two. Now you may have no idea what I'm talking about here, so I'm going to show you how it works with this rhombus right here. All right. So I'm going to take this rhombus. I'm going to separate it into four pieces and I'm going to rearrange the pieces. I'm not changing the size. I'm not changing the shape. I'm just rearranging them. Okay. What I want you to pay close attention to are the colored lines or the diagonals. Okay. I have a yellow diagonal and I have a pink diagonal and I want to make sure that you watch those diagonals. All right. So I'm going to split it apart and I'm going to rearrange it. And as you notice, when the pieces come back together, what's going to happen? All right. So what I've done now, notice that the pink line goes all the way across the bottom. So what I have is one diagonal that's entirely intact. Then I have the yellow diagonal, which is the edge piece. It looks like it's been, it's been split. Okay. Because I have they're on the ends and it's also in the middle. So the height of this resulting shape, which just happens to be a rectangle, is only half of the original dimension of the yellow. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, the yellow, okay? So what you need to do, that's why this half comes into play, okay? So we're only going to be using half of one of these dimensions. And it really doesn't matter which when you're multiplying. But for visual sake, I want you to be able to see that that's why we use the half. Okay, so in this particular shape, let's just assume for a second that the, um, the yellow line, yeah, we'll just say yellow, equals um, 6 centimeters. And that the pink line equals 9 centimeters. Okay, now that's back when it was in the rhombus shape. Now that it's in this rectangle shape, it's different. All right, so in order to find the area of this rhombus, all you have to do is follow this equation. You take these two diagonals, you can multiply them together and say 6 times 9. And then we just want to divide that answer by 2. All right? Just want to divide that answer by 2. So 6 times 9, I'm just going to put it over here, is 54 divided by 2. And my final answer is going to be 27 centimeters squared. Always remember to express your answer in an area problem as whatever the unit may be, in this case centimeters, squared. 